All right, y'all, we are back, and we're back here with the Cummins. Um, in the last video, I kind of teased that uh, we're going to have to fix the throttle linkage. Um, this was a known issue from uh, Cummins that started happening a long time later. There's no recall or anything like that. Um, anyhow, uh, this comes off, and that's very bad if you're driving down the road because uh, the clips in here don't hold. So what I did is I got the... Uh, throttle linkage kit for the first gen from Crazy Carl's Turbos. It's $35. Uh, you can make your own if you want. I just decided $35 wasn't that much just to have it all pre-made and ready to go. Uh, I'll, I'll show you that kit here in a minute when we get into it. But first, one thing that you have to do is you have to take off the old uh, linkage connectors. So these right here, um, this one isn't bad. This one has a nut on the bottom of it, so we can get that one off no problem. This one, however, is not gonna be as easy because as you can see, it was made onto here. So there's a hole right through the middle of it. Um, however, they made it to where you have to grind this off or cut it off in order to get to it. So today we're gonna be taking a grinder and we're gonna grind, uh, we'll probably grind that off too. And then uh, uh, see if we can just grind it off and punch it out. I have heard that it's not as easy as grinding the end off and punching it out, that you have to drill it. So that may be a reason we have to drill this side too. But uh, once we get in there, we'll, we'll figure it out and we'll see. We got that cut off and there is no hole. So what we're gonna do is just drill a hole. I can kind of see you right where it's supposed to go. All right, so this is the Crazy Carl's Turbo Kit. Uh, it's not a turbo kit, but that's the name of the place. Crazy Carl's Turbos, um, 12 valve throttle linkage. So gives you instructions, all that kind of stuff. So this is everything that comes with it. Uh, the Heim joints, has two Heim joints, uh, or just some all thread. It's not reverse thread, so you have to set it before you, uh, before you button it all up. But that, I mean, it's not a huge deal. I wish you could, you know, if it would, was reversed on each end or one end you could uh, you know you could adjust it without taking the joints off but like I said not a huge deal all right so you put your washer on uh, on your bolt here and then you put the bolt through the home joint and on your all thread you're gonna take two of the nuts and you're gonna thread them on like that. This is what's going to lock down your heim joints and keep your settings. All right, so we're going to put our first end on here. So just put it through the hole already in the uh, throttle arm. Put your lock washer on it and then put your nut on the bottom of that. I'm going to go ahead and thread this in the front heim joint here. So we're going to see how far we have to have it back. Well, that is 
installed. The linkage feels really good. There's no play up here and there's no play down at the pedal. So that's an excellent sign. Um, unfortunately, we can't try it out right now because it's not starting. Uh, we'll have to wait for another video for that. But with this done, um, I think all we have to do is get this thing fired and we're going to be able to drive this thing on the road. Uh, as you saw, we have the belt hooked up. It's pumping water great. Um, everything else seems to be in order, uh, except for we still have to work on the alternator issues a little bit, but I'm not too concerned with that from uh, just going here and there around the block or whatever. All right, so we are gonna throw this away, this old junky thing with all the play in it. That is going away. I highly suggest if you still have the stock linkage on your first gen, chunk it as far as you can uh, because it'll fail on you at the worst possible moment. You'll have zero accelerator and you'll have to rig something up to get home. But um, I just go ahead and spend the money now or just get some all thread and some Heim joints like this and, and you'll be set. So you can probably do it for less than five bucks to be honest. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you learned something uh, you know especially if you didn't know that these linkages were junk on the first gen. Um, anyway if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe because we have a lot more coming your way. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you soon.